Welcome to Barron Public Library's Friday Read Aloud. This week I'm sharing a book that's a little bit of hope for me. As we settle into the end of the week and there are forecasts for more snow, I decided that what I really needed was a book about what's around the corner. Up in the Garden, Down in the Dirt by Kate Messner, with art by Christopher Silas Neal. Up in the garden I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my heart full of dreams. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow, wind whistles through last year's plants, and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says, down in the dirt. Things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there? I ask. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects, digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks scoop rusty armfuls and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly-poly round. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings and the leaves where she will lay her eggs. Up in the garden, Carrot plants sprout, pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. I weed and wilt in sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. I'm jealous of their cool, damp dark. Up in the garden, rain shower. Nana turns the hose on me. <laughs> I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider still walks over the streams. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato warm from the sun. And juice dribbles down my chin. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are sumptuous too. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh, but snap! Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on supper. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. 
Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Down in the dirt, an orb weeder spins her web, strand by silken strand. She'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines, and we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for cooler days ahead. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves, where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow Ants scurry home. Earthworms curl tight in the dark. When Grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble and the wind smells like winter. But the long ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts, under the bare arms of trees and blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. This book has reminded me how exciting spring can be. Last week, I had the chance at Barron Public Library to plant some tomato seeds I find myself impatient this time of year, but I also have to remember not to wish away the days and to find something beautiful in each one. Spring is just around the corner. Plan your garden. Stop by Barron Public Library. We have all kinds of materials to help you with that. The beauty of the seasons is an integral part of living here in Wisconsin. Don't miss a minute. Until next time, this is Miss Patricia. Keep reading.